record on this computer. There we go. All right, so we're here with Matthew Harris of Villanova University, and Matthew's going to share with us a little bit about Villanova and its appeal to SLU High students. Yeah, well, hello, everyone. Um, as Elaine mentioned, or Ms. Floyd, my mentioned. Um, I, my name is Matt Harris. I'm one of the Senior Associate Directors of Admission at Villanova. And actually prior to uh, going to Villanova as a student, I, I went to Rockers High School in Kansas City. And so your brother's school across the state. So uh, very familiar with, uh, you know, what it's like coming from that environment to Villanova. And, and I think it is a great next step. It, it really is um, you know, a similar sort of student that goes to Villanova that is that is there for the academic reasons, but also is wanting to get involved in all those other ways outside the classroom too, just like that you do at SLU. And so, you know, we have students that are involved in our 260 clubs and organizations, and we have 24 Division One sports and kind of all those things you can do, but also an additional focus on service that I know you all are very familiar with as well also. And so, you know, we have our students about 75% involved in one of our community service organizations too. And so, you know, it's that same sort of student that is wanting to kind of dive in fully head first and take advantage of the experience and the opportunity that is seemingly to the most happy when they, they come to Villanova. Wonderful. What about um, the fraternity life, the Greek life on campus? Yeah, we do have fraternities. If that is of interest to any of you, it's about 25% of boys typically are in a fraternity. We do not do recruitment until about now in your freshman year. And so you have a couple months to come in and see, you know, is this something I even wanna do? And, you know, if it is, you know, you can go through the recruitment process with no commitment to actually join one at the end of it. But, um, but, but there are a lot that will choose to do so. I personally was not in one when I was at Villanova. I don't feel like I missed out at all. I got involved in other things. My friends that were in it absolutely loved it and they are still friends with those people. And so there's no housing with it. And so it is overall just a little less intense than you might see at some other schools. But, you know, it's a really great way to get involved and get to know a lot of people if that is something that you have a, an interest in doing. Wonderful. What about your most popular majors? Put on your Rockers High School hat. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, our, our typically our, where we get the most attention for applications, where students are ultimately wanting to study, our business school overall, and, and within that, about 50% of business majors are finance students. Our mechanical engineering program is really popular. Actually, our nursing program is really popular. Uh, within the arts and sciences, our communication majors are largest, along with political science and psychology. Uh, on the sciences side, our biology, biochemistry, and our cognitive and behavioral neuroscience programs are typically, mm -hmm. most, um, I guess, most in demand in that college. Wonderful. Um, what about campus traditions? It's going to be, well, actually, I'll have that and one more question. Okay. Yeah, you know, they're kind of, we we have done a lot of student panels the last couple of weeks, and that question always comes up. And the answer that always is answered first by our students is our Hoops Mania. So I should probably start there. So uh, Hoops Mania is the kickoff to our, our basketball season each year. We're unfortunately not able to do it this year, but um, but it's kind of the, the uh, traditional start to our men's and women's program. The coaches and teams come out and introduce themselves, have some skits, and, and do an actual scrimmage. But I think the part that is the favorite is that it um, it then concludes with a surprise free concert for the students. And, um, you know, I know I'm getting old because I don't know who any of the people are anymore. That perform, but over the last few years, we've had uh, we had Sway Lee last year. We've had I'm, hopefully some of you know who these people are. Uh, we've had French Montana and Big Sean recently. We had Drake and Nicki Minaj and so people you've actually heard of. Uh, and so that's really fun. Um, kind of in addition to that, uh, we host the largest student run Special Olympics program in the country, and that's a full weekend in November every year. It's really cool, and it, it starts literally with a 20 mile torch run from downtown Philadelphia to our campus, and then there's just a miniature Olympics for three days. We have about 100 students who plan that throughout the year, and then about 3,000 actually kind of make it all happen during the during the actual year and then um you know in addition to that we have our saint thomas of villanova day celebration in the fall which is kind of our founders day but uh we kick it off with uh we have a one book villanova that everyone reads and then we bring the author in on thursday night for kind of a, a lecture series um on friday we have kind of a casual battle of the bands and things outside mm -hmm. Saturday 
our big day of service and about 5,000 students typically will go out and do a big service blitz as a part of that. And we try to have a home football game that night that everyone can go to. And then we do a big community mass and dinner on, on Sunday. And so that's normally in, in late September and is really a great time to kind of kick off the year as a, as, a, as a campus community. And there's just kind of things like that throughout the year. And even in these weird COVID times, we're still kind of trying to continue all of this. We are back on campus this year. It's our, our ninth week. Uh, at, and so classes are going forward pretty normally. And so, um, you know, as, as much normal as things can be, we're kind of having that right now. And what about my last question is campus tours, if someone wanted to tour campus? Yeah, so tours are going right now. They're really limited though. We're, we are under pretty heavy orders from the governor on not being able to do too much. So we're only able to have 24 families a day, which not a lot. And so just kind of in case we would have to change gears, we're only putting up two weeks at a time. And so my tip is look on Thursday mornings. That's when we add the next week of tours. And again, it's only 24 a day. So it's pretty limited, but if you just go to visit.villanova.edu, it kind of connects into that. Honestly, though, we're doing so much virtually now that that's a great way to connect with us. And if you wait until you kind of see how things go, we're hoping to be able to welcome a lot more than 24 a day when it comes to the spring semester. We're going to try to find some ways to do that. But tours are going now and, and we are in class through Thanksgiving and then we have about a two and a half month Christmas break this year. Um, but we're hoping to do tours right up till about November 20th if you're eyeing trying to come out. Thank you so much, Matthew. I'm going to sure. let the students in. I've got to also.